Hey, Julie. Julian. I thought I'd just stop by and we could discuss the growing national security state and its encroachment. Good, you're here. There are several items I need to bring to your attention. Okay. I've taken the liberty of typing up a set of instructions. You'll find them on the nightstand. And while I find our face-to-face -face meeting simply charming, I will henceforth require an email address, as I have neither the time nor the inclination to repeat these conversations. Okay. I will summarize those instructions for you on this one and only one occasion. In brief, I arise promptly at half past five. I expect my breakfast consisting on a rotating basis of egg whites, black coffee, fresh fruit, non-fat yogurt, plain or vanilla, a non-sugar added fruit juice of your choice. You'll note that I said fruit juice, and contrary to whatever else you might have said, tomatoes are not a fruit. Homemade granola, whole wheat toast, butter, jam, and Canadian bacon, no later than 5.45. Does that blank lifeless stare indicate comprehension? Uh, excellent. The empty tray will be retrieved no later than 6.30, at which point I take an ascending order, my morning constitutional, my morning run, and a hot shower. I begin work promptly at 8 and must not be disturbed until 10, when you will deliver to me my mid-morning snack of coffee and pastry. Said coffee still being black, said pastry left to your imagination. But I expect something fresh from a bakery. Under no circumstances may the pastry contain the name Nabisco in its title. Is that clear? Uh, a yes, sir, will suffice, bloody Americans. I will continue to work undisturbed until two, at which time you will retrieve the snack tray and replace it with one containing my lunch. Shall I tell you what lunch must consist of, or are you seeing the pattern of light and healthy menu items I've laid out before you like a trail of breadcrumbs? Um... I'll take that incredibly articulate rejoinder as a yes. At five o'clock you will receive from me, wait for it, a tweet informing you whether I'll be staying in for dinner or enjoying an evening out. Should I choose to stay in, I expect my meal promptly at six, at which point you may retrieve the lunch tray. Remember when we spoke about the light and healthy menu preferences for my meals? Insert that conversation here. Now, my dinner must include at least two bottles of a fine craft beer. If the beer you bring me is American, it must be either microbrewed or a Samuel Adams lager. Do not, under any circumstances, bring me a beer endorsed by an interesting man, a phalanx of bikini models, or the NFL. Understood? Oh. Okay. You may retrieve the tray at nine, turn down my bed, and place upon my nightstand a hot tea and pastry. After ten, you will keep the volume to an absolute minimum, as without proper sleep I simply lack the charm and witty persona you see before you. Now I've tired of this conversation, so I'll text you the procedures for those occasions where I decide to have dinner out. Okay. Well, this has been fun, and I do hope I've been both crystal and abundantly clear, as I have no intention of ever repeating myself. Any questions? Uh... Brilliant. I don't think my mom's gonna do all that.